Dia pula interview kita. Tukar. Habis lah. Nanti you all nanti yang tanya. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Business Lab from SMCCI. I'm Shairan Rajat. Joining me today is Nadia Hassan, Executive Director for Singapore Malay Chamber of Commerce. Hi everyone. Um, before that, let's just say why are we wearing such baju. Uh, mm-hmm. But of course, uh, selamat hari raya. Uh, dah sebulan berpuasa. Puasa tak sebulan? Puasa. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. InsyaAllah dah mm-hmm. 20 lebih hari. Wow. 20 lebih hari? Ya, yeah, berpuasa. Okay, okay. Oh, bukan sebulan hari puasa maknanya. Oh, ni dah raya. <laughs> <laughs> ya Allah. Ya Allah. Teruk hari ni. Macam mana? Macam mana right. lah eh. Okay, but anyway, we are very excited to be here. Yes. Uh, Berpakaian macam ni. If not, we will always be wearing suit and tie and very yes, corporate. Yes, so, so kita boring. ada tetamu yang very yeah. segak. Segak But before handsome. we go to the VIP, yeah. maybe we would like to thank our our sponsors yes. um, for our Business Lab podcast. I think terutama sekali our our magicians, our media magicians which is mm. Studio 5, 5. Corp. Um, mm-hmm. Love their work all the time, and then, you know, and also we have the ID entity and craft by three. Okay, so thank you so much to the sponsors. We really appreciate you. your work. So for today's episode, we would like to welcome Mayor Fami Aliman, the NTC Director of Operations and Mobilization Division, Mayor for South East CDC, and MP for Marine Parade GRC. Panjang Mayor. Wui. Oh, mm-hmm. banyak kerja ni. <laughs> banyak tugas Mayor. Nama banyak jalan. tugas. <laughs> Yeah. So so how how have you been Maya, so far? Alhamdulillah I think this uh, Ramadan been very busy and I think bila busy tu bagus lah. Jadi kita can continue to help our residents, continue to help our community. I think that's the one that make me happy and make me busy at the same time. Tapi alhamdulillah this year Ramadan uh, has been a lot of activities and a lot of assistance that we give to the community and also to the residents of um, Southeast District. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm very happy and very blessed. Yeah, so, have, yeah. so Mia, Mia, sorry, sorry, Nadia. So Mia, banyak orang nak tahu. Mm. What does Mia stand for? What is your job? What is your, okay, what is your wow. role in oh, this yeah. uh, CDC? Wow. Maybe you want to share with the listeners. It will take about two days to answer you. Okay. But I try to, <laughs> to answer it in two minutes. I try to, to keep it short. Datuk Bandar lah, basically. Bandar, yeah. <laughs> Datuk Bandar is the Malay term. Mm. Tapi for the English term, they call it Mia. Yeah. So what is your job scope okay. and what, what, what does it stand okay. for? So for Saudi CDC, I think one of my key things that I'm very happy to do is actually we social broke. So what does that mean? In social broke, kita, that means kita ada partnership with corporates, with organizations, with partners eh. Jadi, from that social broking, uh, we able to identify um, and assist those in needs within the district. Mm-hmm. So, so we have uh, district counsel- counselors. Mm-hmm. I have about 48 of them. And then with that, we identify what are the needs required on the ground. So, be it within the division or within the district, with that needs, kita ada someone or some companies who are willing to bridge and willing to help. So when then when they help, they help through maybe say funding. Hmm. As a CDC, I can match the funding. So mm-hmm. in that sense, kalau macam orang nak tolong special needs kids, then they mm-hmm. come up with one million. So they come to me in, as a CDC, I can provide two million for the special needs. So it's wow. one-to-one matching. Oh. So that's one of the key mm. capability yang kita ada. But the other capability is also about try to understand, try to do programs yang actually... Um, cater to the current context. Uh, for example, sekarang I have programs that talk about sustainability. I have programs that talk about mental wellness. I have programs to kind of alleviate some of the cost of living juga. So, these are the few things that within the division pun boleh buat hmm. tapi I ada resources that I can do for at the, at the district level. Mm-hmm. So, in that sense, there is multiple assistance to the residents and to the those in needs. Right. So, on top of that, I mean, obviously, um, we are the mediatory for the Uh, for the ministries. So, ministry kalau ada program ke atau certain things that you want us to run. For example, the CDC vouchers. Uh, so, CDC vouchers, the initiative come from MOF. Mm-hmm. Alright? Tapi, at the CDC, kita run that CDC voucher which all of you benefited and mm-hmm. dah belajar dah belanja belum dah fusi dia bosel share tak ingat share tak payah dah, 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 <laughs> dah belanja dah <laughs> so so this watch tu so we run the the program and we run the operations so mm. that things are seamless to the grounds and people can continue enjoy the, the to use the city watch that's one example another example should be uh, could be healthy sg mm-hmm. healthy sg uh, okay. so healthy sg punya concept mm. we run at the ministry level And also with the assistance of what I have and 
some of the resources we also assist the division try to mm-hmm. to help them make sure that the the residents apply to it go through the complete the whole process for the healthy sg punya program so, so these are the residents from gilang uh, marine parade ah yeah so my side okay. ada ada 12 division right. uh, so it's east coast grc Marine Parade hmm. JLC, Mountbatten, SMC dengan McPherson dan MSC. So, there's 12 divisions. Hmm. So, siapa-siapa listeners yang stay around this area, tahulah nak cari siapa eh. Yeah, okay. Kalau nak, perba- but, nak bantuan lah. But, I, I, to me, to me, I mean, I see you banyak actively involved hmm. in this hmm. and then you also NTC director hmm. for mobilization hmm. and apa? Operation. 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 Hmm. And then, how do you juggle this? Being uh, in the, uh, jadi mayor, jadi director, yeah. not only that MP for Gilang Serai, you you <laughs> other time untuk do the meet the people session. Tengok lah like Instagram dia, think, yeah, <laughs> busy. <laughs> so how do you juggle this especially, yeah, especially yeah. during uh, this part, uh, during mm. this Ramadan period also? Yeah. Mm. I mean, Alhamdulillah, I, I one of the key things that I always believe in is to build a team. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's not just one man show obviously, right? So it's the team that I build. So I have a very strong team in uh, NTUC. I have certain department under me. And then I have certain uh, assets that I can also use, and they they the one who help me run certain operations, especially labor movement and operations lah. Mm. Uh, and then uh, obviously my team the CDC also have a few. I work about thirty over staff within CDC, and that help me to run certain program, so and so. So I, I to me the principle is simple. You mm. build the team with the team. When the team is strong, then you just give direction and guidance. Then mm. then things can move. And also believe in the empowering all our staff and our uh, those people on the ground, so I give them certain space. I call it command space mm. uh, where they can do certain things. I give them certain boundaries. If they have any issues, get back to me. If not, all things go. So, so that's your leadership model. Yes, yeah. very simple. Yeah. Leadership style, lah. I, I, I rasa eh? the, the leadership skill sikit <laughs> macam ada keamian sikit. Keamian eh? Ha, keamian sikit. This the me, first time when I dengar term macam ni. Keamian eh? Baru, baru. Kalau polis macam mana? Kepolisan. <laughs> okay, okay. Boleh, boleh, Kami boleh. Keamian ni, uh, what, what I'm trying to say is that Nah, me. You are from the SAF last time. So, did you? Apa yang you belajar ke SAF? Is that the way you are doing it right now? The yeah. apa? Yeah. This all this apa? Macam mm-hmm. you kata tadi command, yeah. command all Space, that. Yeah. I think so, we should learn. This is a good thing. Yeah. But actually, I actually yeah. I agree with the system SAF built. Bila orang bikin all this system, hmm. uh, a business atau uh, operation will only flow well bila kita ada sistem. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you ada nak tanya sesuatu <laughs> lagi? Mesti ada. So I think um, hmm. with regards to like yourself and SMCCI kan. Hmm. So what is the involvement that you have ah, in SMCCI? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So one of the other big thing that I'm doing is I'm also the chairman for the FA4, mm-hmm. the hmm. focus area four. So the, later we can talk more about focus area four. But yep. this is where I thought. When we build that ecosystem for FA4, mm-hmm. we want SMCCI to be to be inside mm. because I see SMCCI as a conduit or as a platform. Kita boleh bawa ramai uh, masyarakat Melayu kita untuk mendapat pekerjaan bagus, untuk mm. mendapat uh, uh, kemahiran baru, so and so forth. So I have uh, ecosystem with NTUC, my L Hub, the L Hub E2I, mm. and then lepas tu with the national assets, we got the SSG, WSG, dan seterusnya kan. Tapi now with a Malay Chamber on board, it will give you a different lens where mm. you give uh, those who who may, may maybe not comfortable with some or other mm. training means, eh? yeah. but to, but they are comfortable with our Malay punya uh, organisations. Uh, so this is where SMCCI together with Mendaki mm. will come in to assist those uh, those residents or those individuals who are want to be. A bit more dekat dengan orang Melayu, dekat mm. So that's where I thought when I when I map out the FA4 punya plan, I just I thought SMCCI could be one of the key partners, mm. and that's why we signed the MOU. Yeah, last so we year. signed the MOU mm. recently. Eh, tapi saya so. nak tanya, yeah. cakap pasal FA4 ni, mm. I think the listeners also want to know mm. what is FA4, mm. what does ah, it stand okay, okay. for? Okay, so mm. dalam MQ, I think semua tahu pasal MQ kan. Yeah. Jadi MQ ada lima fokus area. Okay. So, so M Cube is a joint venture yeah. of Muiz, Muiz, Mendaki, and Mesra. Okay, now that we know, yeah. kalau tak, I, I am tahu. No, <laughs> I understand. I also know. I am part of M Cube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. But I just want to let the listeners yeah. know. Betul, 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 betul. Some of us, okay, you betul. see, what I see in the hmm. in the in the downline atau bawah. Hmm. Bila kita cakap pasal M Cube, M Kuasa Tiga, hmm. orang tak tahu. Hmm, orang tak tahu apa. what is M Cube, M yeah. Kuasa Tiga. Yep. Hmm. So maybe today we can have the opportunity to let me hmm. share with them what is M Cube and what does M Cube, eh, apa ni, all this FA4 yeah. got to do with all okay. this. Insyaallah. Yeah. So, so dalam M Cube, M Cube dah lama sebenarnya. Actually mm-hmm. dalam five years ada. 
So dalam MQ tu kita we have some pillars or we identify some of the concerns that we want to address mm-hmm. in the Malay community. So the first one, FA one, talk about family, talk about kids, mm. right? So so that one is our um, again. We find that we need a lot of support and a lot of uh, structure to assist our families, our young families, Malay mm. families to you know to be able to do well as as a family. FA two talk about those helping those uh, where their parents or their loved ones is incarcerated. Mm-hmm. So bila dia orang ada yang dalam jail kan, jadi kita tolong keluarga dia kat luar ni. Dan mm. lepas tu bila yang keluar daripada Uh, penjara kita try to find job for them so that they okay. or find some stability so that the family can again you know uh, function mm. as one family and then from there then insyaAllah you know do well uh, focus area 3 talk about our youth uh, mm. this is where we think about the mentoring program uh, so that's why the mentoring program is where we start early upstream go to the schools or even to IHLs get mentors to be the role model for those in need the vulnerable families yes, yeah. mm-hmm. as well mm. Uh, FA4 is well. We talk about employment and employability. So the idea is actually to ensure that our Malay community ada space, ada um, opportunities to do well uh-huh. in the current job and also in the future job. So that's what FA4 is about. So we can discuss a little bit. Mm-hmm. FA5 is which is the latest one. Mm. Talk about health. So health is where we we also think in the community is important to understand health. Go upstream again and see well, how we can uh, educate people, create oh, awareness about okay. health. Mm-hmm. So these are the five uh, focus area. So tadi Yan asked about what mm. is FA4 all about. Yes. So FA4, again, as I said, is employment and probability. The target audience that I'm looking out for is actually four. One is uh, platform workers. Mm. Platform workers. Two is the women back to work. So yeah. we have uh, families or women um, set up families. They got kids, mm-hmm. and then but some of them are really professionals before they have degree. Mm. They, have, they work pretty well, but because they set up the family, maybe they need to stop work for all. Uh, so but now is where we want them to come back to the workforce. Right. So the work, uh, the what they call it, the women back to work. The the third one is actually our matured workers atau workers who uh, really want to transit mid careers workers mm. and to transit from one sector to the other sector right. okay and then the last one is actually our youth uh, so again youth being an important uh, generations for us mm-hmm. we want to see how best we can give them the knowledge so that they can choose which path mm. they can take and then pursue their career right? so back to the point on youth mm. right what is the current landscape From your own mm. POV mm. now, right? Mm. Like, what is the current landscape of like youth? Like, you think how much um the pian sectors and the ramina uh, and all mm. that. What is the so yeah. so? I mean, as expected, I think the 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 sectors which is booming now is the IT sectors, mm. the fintech sector. I think I think our youth uh, most want to be there in that sector. And it's a very challenging sector too, and uh, some of the youth uh, have a different way of. They are, uh, or thinking of how they want to work. If you compare with our parents or even myself, right? Yeah. Which is very old. <laughs> so is to we always well, like, look young. Actually. We used we we <laughs> used to stay in one job. Okay, and we stay in one job. Mm. Yeah, We're I happy think to I stay agree. I job. agree with yeah. that. Tapi bila the youth now with the mentality is because they want to try many mm. positions at early stage mm-hmm. before they settle down. And so we can see many of them try to move from one sector to the other sector. And not really hunker down to a one job. So what's the the the, the template that you can actually advise them? Because ah. for example, not everybody, um, semua orang lain-lain kan. Betul. So ada yang okay to stick with one job mm. very long. I think it works well for yeah. them because they will go up properly. Yeah. Um, but ada juga yang macam nak try uh, a few company, which mm. is also impacting employers, Betul. right? Yes. Because employees yeah. are doing that, right? Yeah. Because they are going from one job to another yeah. job to another job, and then it will impact stable, the entire eh? ecosystem. Mm. So. What is your take on that ah. for the youth? Yeah. So that's why one of the key things yang kita nak the youth tahu is that there is a career coaching atau career mentoring that they can actually embark when mm. they can talk to someone and then try to understand uh, what is the current landscape or how this sector is performing. Mm. Then they can decide uh, to go to the other sector in a, in a in a very sound decision because they want to gain more experience mm. rather than tukar-tukar kerja just because Not happy with certain things, you know what I mean. So bila gitu, they are well, macam nurtured atau mentored. Then they they can you can see they will gain a lot more uh, skills, a lot more experience. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. That's why dalam NTUC kita ada career starter lab. 
Hmm. Uh, the re- the Chris Satel Lab punya initiative is to give those students hmm. atau graduates some opportunity to try to figure out what are the suitable job that you can do. Lepas tu kalau tak suka tak boleh juga then you can have another coach that they can bring you. Kalau suitable you carry, you carry on with that job. Hmm. So right? how do they apply for this? Ah, so there is uh, through the you can go through the website. Right, there okay. are certain companies actually embo- uh, embark into this. They got mentors for the youth to engage lah. Yeah. Hmm. So bukan saja dalam MTUC, tapi dalam mendaki pun ada juga. Yeah. So there is also the career coach that people can discuss. So we are giving that options out. Below, I I couldn't remember my time. Hmm. I don't. I have this this uh, what they call it, these tools. Yeah. Actually yeah, for us <laughs> last time kita buat cuma cari sendiri punya. Yes. Then kita yeah, sure. trip and yeah. fall, trip and fall kan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so now tak. Sekarang Alhamdulillah kalau ada banyak cari opportunities atau banyak platform wadah untuk mereka hmm. tr- try it out. Yes. Uh, jadi bila okay, carry on. That's true lah. Even for yeah. SMCC, right? last time um, like what you mentioned correctly, uh, I have to go and search my own. Macam yeah. nak jumpa mana company, apa hmm. semua kena Google kan. Dua-dua sekarang kalau dah, dah kenal SMCC, so for example, we we are very actively involved hmm. with madrasah student. Hmm. We teach them the, apa tu yang dengan South East CDC, um, the, the resume writing. Yes. Right? So yeah. these kids are already connected to SMCC hmm. from young. Yeah. Hmm. So from there, they already um, uh, uh, yeah. apa tu connected with employers tau. Yes. Mereka punya bakal okay. employers. So, which is actually quite a very easy to fish, you know, because yeah, it's around there. Yeah. So it's easier for them. Yeah, like and also it's a win-win time. situation, apa? Sebab the 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 employees sekarang yeah. tahu dia apa dia nak. The employers hmm. also tahu what kind of workers they're coming to that set, and then they can also, in a way, coach and train one another. Yeah. Hmm. So I thought this is a good thing. So for you, what kind of employee you are looking at, like? Maybe the yeah. three tops basically, quality that you basically you male is definitely looking employee macam Ayla. Like you, you boss lain. <laughs> Kita ni kuli lain. So, so like what kind of kalau jadi employee? Yeah. What kau tahu? Tak ada lah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ma, mine, mine is first is attitude, values hmm. and attitude. Kalau hmm. attitude bagus, values bagus, I think in part of the training, part of how to do the work, I think that's the easiest part. Yeah. Yeah. So that's Tapi, true. Tapi I think if when you say that kan, hmm. yeah. Uh, macam you kata, our previous generation, we can see all that hmm. uh, attitude, values and this one. Yeah. But do you think the current generation, there's more that we can see from them? Not only the yang the, yang you mentioned, that tiga hmm. benda? I think they need to see where they they fit in into that company. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Kalau they find that they are uh, well regarded and fit in well into the company, they will stay yeah. and hopefully they will be loyal. Because the keyword is loyal and hmm. sekarang hmm. loyalty ada sikit susah sikit. Yeah. Because people can change job with yeah. $50 punya difference je. Yeah. So tapi kalau kita bring in a good environment, good culture, company culture, good business culture, insyaallah that particular uh, employee will find that this is the right thing they can do mm-hmm. and then they will stay insyaallah. Yeah, so like there's like a lot of this nak kena macam apa tu macam melamar gitu ah. Melamar eh. <laughs> ha, wow. Betul, nak kena melamar gitu. Bukan like kita pun, cakap I'll, I I tell you to do like this, you do like that. It doesn't hmm. work that way. Hmm. Hmm. Lagi pun nowadays the, uh, the the kids atau the younger generation dia orang ada all these government grants betul. untuk skill yeah. future yeah. all that kan for yeah. them to upgrade themselves. Yeah. Like you say maybe $50 difference gaji, maybe if they take course then this yeah. uh dia orang boleh naik gaji yeah. $50 and some and, and, maybe. and the other thing another key factors that I also see during uh, some of the interview ni semua hmm. The, the work-life balance. I yeah. think for the younger generation, that one is important to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't uh, one of the key things back then. I mean, mm. yeah. Lain lah. Kita Lain. punya time, Lain. sampai berapa pun nak, pukul kita 6 pun nak bangun daripada kursi tu, kita tengok mm. bos, boleh bangun yeah. ke tidak. Mm. Right. No, tapi, but work-life balance tak boleh implement to our workplace tau. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Uh, especially, uh, for example, SAF tak boleh. <laughs> Pasal but actually this work life balance yeah but actually <laughs> this work life balance lain lah yeah, I feel lain, that work life balance in Singapore dengan other countries is different, different. because mm. other countries people actually fight for it because probably the benefit yeah. is not given as much as how Singaporeans mm. employees mm. are given by the government mm. you know so that's why they fight for work life balance mm. yeah so to me as long as after six I don't disturb you you don't disturb me yeah, so but we try to balance that again, that also, lah. it's also the leadership style juga kan of yeah. this company <laughs> the culture the <laughs> values and so on and so forth so I think if that is all well thought through atau well discussed dengan the new employees insyaAllah things uh, will be better yeah. but I think some some uh, employees nowadays mm. pun ada yang tak kisah they, they can help yeah. maybe some of them 2-3am pun ada buat kerja Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. Can you my staff especially match yeah. me to your staff? Because of the, because of good leadership. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. I think I think what what Mia says is true. Yeah. It's, it's, it's about the leadership and yeah. how you create the system well, 
And then uh, They True. will surely definitely yes. Buat apa you minta lah um. Tapi kita pun sebagai employer Cannot be like Nak Nak um. kirakan Teringat yeah. orang kan mm. So what we should do is Maybe in return We have to give them some Time yeah, or all yeah. that yeah. I think on top yeah. of that As a whole from the top right I yeah. think it's important for um, Employers to share What is the goal of the company So that mm. the employees also understand What we want to achieve So we can achieve it together yes, exactly. So From your point of view, like mm. from as a man itself with so many roles, right? When we talk about goals, right? So what is your long-term goal as long as you are still in the position? <laughs> so what is your long-term goal for a Malay Muslim community? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, I mean, the long-term goal is actually more to make sure that the, our community are aware mm-hmm. of all the assistance and all the good things done by all our MM communi- uh, mm. organization. Um, seperti Mendaki, Muiz, dan seterusnya, kan? MMOs and for them to be aware that actually there's a lot of opportunities out there yeah. and it's for them to step forward and try to grab the opportunities because kalau kita tak grab sekarang orang lain yang akan grab and and this is where I always preach and always continue to neck this for people <laughs> neck eh neck memang jadi mana ni ada sekarang kita you neck because we will I will want people to continue to get the opportunities continue to upgrade Um, continue to upskill because the the kind of jobs in the future is different from what you see now. Mm. With the introduction of AI, robot, robot, uh, RPA, right, automation, so and so forth, some of the jobs will be displaced. Yeah. That's the reality yep. of it. Mm-hmm. Jadi, yeah. this is where our community must realize and must acknowledge. Kalau kita tak buat apa-apa sekarang, in maybe next five years. You will be replaced. Uh, yeah, so must continue upgrade yes, themselves. Yes, they're yeah, still relevant. Still that's, relevant. That's a mm-hmm. long term. And then the, with that understanding, then you have a better jobs. Yeah. When you have a better jobs, you have better pay, mm. better wages. Then yes. Then with that better wages, you will then support your a family. Better life. Then you have better life, better yeah. education. So, so it's the entire yeah. ecosystem. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. but but just a uh, just a uh, uh, lepak sikit lah lepak sikit yeah. eh. so so far based on your experience right what is the yang paling macam you pernah go through yang mm. macam ada resident pergi kat you ke mm. problem with problem mm. kan maybe mm. tak payah cakap siapa or whatever mm. maybe just share like what kind of problems yang you pernah attend tu yang you macam you sendiri pun stuck lah tak tahu macam mana settle Susah sah, memang kita banyak. kalau kat sini kasih soalan semua susah susah. Ya, apa apa tengah tengah fikir ni sekarang. So you kena oh. be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> macam ada tak macam for example macam hmm. uh, the problem is actually training tapi degil lah mati mati oh, okay, orang okay, ni okay, tak okay. nak training lah, you know ah, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. No, I think how? I think yang mostly is about confidence lah. Hmm. Uh, they are not macam dia takut lah takut nak nak take that. The initial step, eh, mm-hmm. untuk do something nak pergi belajar balik. Uh, mm. That's that sometimes is the issue. Sebab dah lama kan, dah lama kerja in this very comfortable yeah. position. Yeah. Nak pergi nak pergi kerja baru mesti belajar balik and so and so forth. So they're not comfortable. Some of them uh, macam mindset lah, because it could be distance, it could be kena bangun pagi lagi sikit, nak kena pergi bangun so, pagi. So mm. so. Things like that. Although we talk is a trivial, punya yeah. macam issues kan. Tapi to some families is very serious. Yeah. Uh, so I think the education. first part namanya cakap lack of confidence mm. too. Mm. Most of them lack of that confidence lah. Mm. So sure, nak we lah. we have to do something lah. Maybe yeah. FA6 kita should do <laughs> new. Thing Tapi that. alhamdulillah lah. You know alhamdulillah after all this uh, kita buat uh, for FA2 dah masuk 2-3 tahun. Mm. Yeah? Mm. FA4. FA4, FA4 dah masuk 2-3 mm. tahun. I think We've seen numbers coming in. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I think we have about 5,000 workers that kita dah tolong. Hmm. More than 5,000 workers. Of which about 20% of them wow, dah dapat kerja. Wow, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Wow. And then that's across, you know, cut across from platform worker dan seterusnya. Uh, you ask me whether that is enough to me not. Because what I want to do and hmm. what I hope to do is to give them that awareness again. Create hmm. that awareness. Kalau macam one day, satu, some of them stuck. Because kena displace ke atau stuck because they they couldn't do this job anymore yeah. due to health whatever they can remember there is FA4 yeah. and then then that's where we can help them but we need to create this awareness we need to create those space yang orang tahu apa kita nak try buat and yeah. they confident that we can help them and we will do our best inshallah to to help them also to mm-hmm. translate to a new job. So this is the word from me and for me <laughs> that kepada orang-orang yang rasa. Uh, Lack of confidence uh. Ataupun rasa There's no way to go There's always mm. FA4 that uh, Is there to Help mm. you around 
Cari lah Mia. Jadi, nanti ada website Mia. Ya, yeah, kita ada. Yeah. Nanti kita akan nanti letak kat bawah sini lah. Uh, she's tag dia punya yeah. IG lah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so for those of you yang nak tahu lebih lanjut tentang mm. this FA4, mm. so they can can find out more. Okay. Not from me lah, maybe from yeah, maybe from website, from, website. from NTUC, and from NDC. And SMCCI from is Daki. also involved. Yes, yes. SMCCI. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. we can so also can contact SMCCI. Lah. Yes, Singapore Malay Chamber of Commerce. So okay. Yeah. Thank so you. any any last words yeah. before we any wrap it? Mm. No, I mean I I I very happy and very uh, delighted that you invited me for this podcast. Very happy that we can partner as MCCI. It's always been a very strong partners to us and understanding Malay punya community punya issues. And I hope uh, we can continue to do this uh, work together. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of space and a lot of work need to be done. Tapi with uh, the niat nanto tolong kita punya masyarakat mm. insyaallah this will be a very smooth sailing mm-hmm, and we will continue to work hard we continue to garner partners from different different agencies associations and even business uh, corporates to see how best we can continue to help yeah. our community insyaallah, insyaallah. i think yes. we really thank you for being here as well yeah, um, yes. and always um, um, giving support to smcci i think we mm. really appreciate that uh, we have been very active with mayor recently mm. and i think mayor has been one of the uh, distinguished individual that mm. has always been with smcci actively and involved actively uh, involved and tak pernah macam tak pernah asyik hold that that corporate corporate you know i'm oh. a mayor you know that you yeah. don't talk to me you know mm. i think it's a very good relationship that we have mm. so we really appreciate it we appreciate that of because yeah. of you for the listeners uh, dah dengar apa Mia dah cakap <laughs> you all nak tahu lebih lanjut you can uh, go to the website atau get back to SMCCI we are here to assist you yeah. uh, thank you Mia for you. your time the really grateful that you are here so kita pun nak nak yeah. habiskan lah tamatkan yeah. podcast ni so remember to follow us uh, SMC Sai Business Life Podcast mm. we also we are on Spotify we are also on YouTube um, TikTok Uh, TikTok, TikTok, yes, you are also on TikTok. Mm, tapi yeah. kalau nak tengok lagi banyak, dia ni lah. Dia ni <laughs> followers lagi banyak. TikTok okay, dia, TikTok, TikTok punya macam. Tapi kalau nak nak tengok Instagram lebih photos, you can see Mayo punya. Ah, Mayo punya yeah, lagi Mayo banyak. Mayo every day, okay. very busy. Yeah, so mm. thank you once again um, to ID and TT, Craft by Tree. And of course, our our strong partner, Studio 5, for all the edit works and all yes. this. Meringankan kita punya Betul. kesusahan <laughs> tau dalam ni business podcast tau. Yes. Business lab podcast. Mm. So yeah, so I think with that, maybe... Thank you. Selamat Hari Raya. Selamat Hari Raya untuk semua. <laughs> okay. Mohon izin batin. Minta maaf terlalu banyak minta dosa <laughs> ni. Kepada semua hmm. tetamu. Hmm. Selamat Hari Raya. Mohon izin batin. Yes. Selamat Hari Raya. Selamat Hari Raya. Bye.